Where's the registration at? Put Yes. I'm sorry? What's your name then? I'd like to remain silent. Okay. This is an investigatory stop. I gotta at least confirm that you're not you're the registered owner of this vehicle. Have I done something wrong? Uh, not tech. You're, you're borderline. You're improper parking. Am I being detained or am yes, I free you to are go? Being detained you're improperly what is the crime? Parking. You're improperly parking on this roadway. Okay, where should I go to park right now? Well, now we need to deal with why you're improper parking. So, But I, I still haven't committed a crime here. You improperly parked on the roadway. You can park on the side of the road in case of emergency. It is on the emergency. side. This is an emergency. What's the emergency? It, I'd rather not answer any more questions, sir. Okay. Here's the Under thing. duress, I'm going to give you my papers. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Under duress. I'm going to issue a warning for, for improper <clears throat> parking, okay? Okay. Okay. So I need to see your driver's license. The registration insurance card for the vehicle. I'm looking for it. So this is your vehicle? It's mine for the moment. Okay. For the moment, who's it registered to? My buddy Booker Holloway. Okay, does he know you have the vehicle? Yes, he does. He does. Okay. Still looking for the insurance or registration card? Thirteen thirty two Pawnee Street. All right, and it's Chris or Christopher? Chris. Chris. All right, Chris, have you step out of the vehicle for me? Please? I'm gonna stay right here. No, I can. I haven't done anything. I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. You can't. You, you can't. I haven't done anything wrong. You cannot. You cannot force me out of my vehicle. This, this is a traffic what is stop. your not What you is your name and badge number? My name and badge number is right here. If you're recording, that's fine because I'm recording too. I have the right. I have the authority to direct you out of that vehicle because <clears> I don't know what is under your seat. Nothing. I don't know what you have in your pockets or anything like that, so I can put you and you, you don't need, in a safer I, location. I am in a safe location. No, in a safer location to where I can see you because I'm going to go back to my vehicle. I'm going to issue a bio card for improper parking. So what I'm doing is I'm taking you out of the vehicle and you're going to stand at the rear of your I'm vehicle. I'm going. Do not get out of this vehicle. Lock the door, okay? Do not get out. I don't know why you're being so comfortable. Because I just, this. you guys are, are, are bad now. You know? How am I bad? Have I done anything to you? To I have I done anything bad? wrong? Have I injured anyone you're right now? Improper parking, okay? Am I so being detained or am I free to go? To deal with it, okay? Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're being detained. For is your name parking. is your name Workman? It is. Badge number five six nine. That's correct. It's right there. I told you I'm not hiding anything. I'm telling you right now to step out of your vehicle and stand at the rear of the vehicle. All right, have you stand right there in the, the seat of your car, okay? Anything in your pockets I need to know about? No. No weapons or anything like no. that? No. No weapons in your in the vehicle no. or anything like that? Just stand another unit. Keep your hands out of your pockets. You just stand another unit.
They pulled me over. I did not consent to a search or seizure. They've requested my documents. I've given them under duress. I was parked here, not doing anything wrong. There's no traffic down this road. Waiting for directions to get to a place to pick up a vehicle. Oh, Jesus. Can I help you? Sir? Officer? Officer? Name's Chris. You alright? We're just getting IDs from everyone to find out who everybody is. You understand that, right? But we haven't done anything wrong. He hasn't provided a search warrant. He pulled me over. I'm parked here. Haven't done anything wrong. Pulled me out of my vehicle. Okay. What is the reason for the stop? I don't know, I just got here. Um, don't know. Uh, as far as needing a search warrant, I'm searching things, so we don't need a search warrant. I know, but you, you know. You're, you're requesting my documents. I haven't injured anyone. Under duress, I'm giving him my stuff just so okay. you guys stay cool, and all you guys are making me nervous, okay? There's a lot of you right here right now. I'm not armed. You guys are armed. You know what I mean? Well, it's kind of my job to be armed. You, you, why I though? I'm not to, armed. Well, Most of America is not even armed right now. I can't go to work without having a gun. That's my job, is to help people when there's bad people around, right? I mean, you get that. Do, am I bad? I am I bad? bad? Okay, I just. Let, I want to keep this peaceful, please. 99.9% .9 of the people I meet are fantastic people. It's the 1% that I worry about. And you know how you find out what, how they are? You just got to talk to people. No. You're probably. Well, within the 99.9% .9 of the people would be my guess. So, I mean, it's just stuff like this makes me nervous, especially right now in America and everything that's, that's, that's going on. To to. So, so, I'm trying to answer any questions you have. So, I just want to get my papers and go. As far as the handing of the papers <clears throat> for duress, for search warrant, we need to know who's driving. Who know who but you don't need to know that I haven't done anything wrong. I'm parked. I'm par You know what I mean? Like, yeah, what reason I, does, I, what I, legal I, reason does he have to? Know. He must have had one or he wouldn't have. You know what I mean? You guys just can't walk around like Nazi Germany and just request documents, you know? It, well, this is not Nazi Germany. This is re America, a republic, land of a free, held by a constitution that needs to be upheld by the people. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. And I don't like my rights being trampled on. I don't think they are right now. They are. When, when, when I am forced to give him documents and, and being forced to get out of my vehicle, I'm under duress to cooperate right now. Okay. You're under duress <clears throat> because you don't understand it? No, I understand how things, you guys think they work, but this is not how it works. Okay. There's two sides to every coin. I know there is. Okay. All right. Where do you live at? You live in Omaha? I live in Lincoln. I live in Lincoln. What do you do for a job there? Uh, I'm not interrogating. I'm just having a conversation. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to... Con I do construction. 
I did road construction for, for a while. Hated it. Uh, housing. I do gutters and siding. Finished guy? <clears throat> yeah. Housing guy. <clears throat> okay. Do the roofs too or not? Something else single. No, I don't do roofs. Yeah. You do your you have your gutter shop or somebody? I work for somebody. Season, what are you doing? Do you siding. Can you do siding in the winter? Yeah. Can't really do gutters in the winter, but no, gutters a little rough, aren't they? Or can you? You need the you need the uh, sealant to seal. Right on the, on the side. On the <clears throat> on your uh, uh, end caps and uh, miters and downs. Oh, the down. Lock and they seal them. Yeah. So. All right. I didn't think of that. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. What do you do in the winter other than siding? Keep busy doing that. Busy. Doing Work that. on cars. Fix and sell cars. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pick up a car right now. <laughs> you do that on a something you can Yeah. And I do a lot of work in town for people for free and sure. Most of the guys I know that do mechanic work they do that for people. Yeah. Because it's it's not they just do it because they like to do it. So alright. Where are you guys headed to pick car? Uh York. York. We had to go to Hastings to pick up some stuff for him and then back to York to pick up the car that we just bought and then back to Lincoln. Okay. All right. All right. We got some apparently bookers on the phone over here. Okay. Passenger. That's what I understand. So just stay right there, okay? I'm telling you, stay right there. You know who the car belongs to? Yes. What's his last name? Holloway. You know, this could be a lot worse because normally I drive around with private property plates and I don't, I don't give up anything, you know. I keep, I usually keep all my stuff private, in it. Private property plates, I don't know what would be. I've never heard of those before. Man, there's, <laughs> there's so much that people just, over a hundred years have forgotten, like the right to travel and well, instead of driving, you know what I mean? I, you said private plates, I have. Private property I mean, plates, I don't, tax exempt. Private property they have them on like farm trucks. So those are farm exempt. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you get a private property? Make it. How do you register? Your car? You don't. You have when to you register, property. when you register something to the state or the government, it gives them the power to take it. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Just like, just like our title to our body is our birth certificate. Every time I give you guys my documents, it gives you power over the subject. I don't want to be a subject. No, I guess that's, that's not, that's it, not, it does. He could write me a ticket right now, and I'd have to, to do with deal with all that. There, well, you understand there's, there's, there's rules we have to follow. They call those rules laws. Built for you guys. No. Nope. Elected officials. They built for me. Yes. No. Nope. You guys, you guys, you guys got to understand. I, 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 I know America history way better than, than most and the police and the government are not above the people the people are, are above the police yes our, our government could, couldn't agree more I couldn't agree anymore it's, I'm, I'm, that's the way it's supposed to be right you don't you're not here to serve me I'm here to protect you right but yeah, it seems like more and more in America it's it's you guys harass and collect instead of you know what I mean The, but the, the, as far as property, as far as your plates, it's a privilege to drive your car. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's There's a, it's a natural right. Yeah, it is. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you have the right to This is no different than a than a horse and buggy. Uh, this is. Fortunately, it's not a horse and buggy. If you owned a horse and buggy, that would be your private property. It's yours. You own it. But they can tax it. But, you know, that's why we left England was to get away from taxes. Well, I agree. Okay. You know what I mean? I and, do. I agree. And why I agree. are we, if, 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 if we all pay taxes, why are we $18 trillion, $20 trillion in debt? That's pretty You know what question. I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I So the money game is out the window. This this whole game is over. It's done. You know well, I mean? the, the, the country can't sustain itself. By, it can't. It's, by everybody just doing it. They, they, they tax each other back when we left in the in the colonial times. There's taxes for There is. It's, it's how government works. It's how states that have money to, to build the roads and do everything else that they do. If there wasn't taxes, you wouldn't have a road ride. You wouldn't drive on the center state. They'd still do it. 
Wow. It would all be privatized. Nobody would do it. They, that's what they do now. They privatize a lot of con- like government projects well, now. Someone's gonna, well, then you're going to pay someone to drive on their road. If, if it's privatized, if I privatize it... The, supposedly, the supposedly the gas tax pays for the road, right? But yet, all around, all around Nebraska, the roads are shot. Yeah. So, where's that money going? Well, also nope. some, of your, some of your vehicle tax pays for it. Well... But it takes a lot of money to build in your state and to keep the roads maintained, but I agree with it. But the umpteen... You know what I mean? I do. Millions of cars in, in this state. You're telling me that, you know... And the gazillion miles of interstate, though, too. But, so, yeah, the, the, if they privatized everything, they would charge you to drive on It's like the, uh, you know, I had a guy tell me one time, it's, it's a, a constitutional right to drive. It is. Uh, it's it is. Right. It's, it's absolutely, and we can have this debate, and I respect your opinion about it, but you'll never change mine. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's why it's called that debate. I agree. And I'm not here to, to fight with you about it. Oh, no, right. or, or, or be ugly, but I, I want you to understand that. I'm just trying to get your point of view. You, it's not fair for you to force your will on me if, no. if it's if it's not I'm okay not for me to force my will on you. So, right I'm what, now the people who we elect to make laws, and you, you have just as much power to elect it and, and change laws as, as, as I do, 100%. Um, the right for a driver's license, it's issued by a state. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you have the right to drive. That's a privilege. You have the right to travel. It is a it is a natural, inalienable run. right to but travel. And you, you and you can travel in your private property. You have to have a driver's license. Okay, and that's. I understand where you're coming from. I agree. Traveling is different than driving, right? Driving, when you're driving, see those trucks out there? Yep. They are driving. They are conducting commerce in their vehicle. They are making money with that vehicle okay it is it is taxable everybody else with a car that's just day-to-day driving like this this is nat- this is a natural right to travel freely upon the highways no. it, it's written I've no, it's not written I've done research for <laughs> I'm gonna want to see that one because that that's one of those people tell me all the time it's written that I have that right to drive I'm like, it's a privilege it's a privilege it can be taken away that's not you get your license and spend it your driving privilege Me and you can have this conversation, and you, me and you. But it's been on. ruled in the constant. It's been ruled in the courts. The, the Supreme Court has ruled on it. I promise. That that, that I can't that, spend your license. That, your privilege to drive. that we have a natural right to travel upon the freeways in our in our in these vehicles. If you follow all the rules and regulations, and and, and I laws. do, but it they they cannot charge a fee and tax for your property it's been ruled in the supreme court i've seen all this stuff like you, you know what i mean like i believe if it was ruled in in the highest court of the land the appellate court then it it's the, court's not the, highest court. the supreme court right supreme court is. appellate court supreme court but they've ruled they've ruled on it and i've seen it I've seen the cases well it hasn't made it down to me yet they don't want you guys to know this stuff because <laughs> you know what I mean. Like you know how much money you guys would lose if if people knew the truth. The whole system would come down. Maybe. And the utopian world of heaven on earth would literally be here. You, you would think the world would be a better place. Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't you? No. I've seen what I've seen what lawless places have with no rules and just everyone can do whatever they want. You know how that ends up. I don't know. It's almost like the king of the jungle. The strongest survived that we just perished by far. People need a different light. I've seen that side of it. I don't, I don't I gotta be honest with you. I don't agree with everything on this side, but I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. Alright, guys. Deal. Uh, Chris, it's been talking to you. Well, I'm What's the argument we did? I like the example of Bates. I don't agree with your side. You don't okay. agree with mine, but that's the that's, that's nice thing about it, right? Just, just remember, I once walked in your shoes and thought, and believe the same things you do but it takes well, it takes learning and, and discovery to, to know the difference i'm gonna look up the, the, the car window look it up that's a good one yeah. you caught me on that one i don't know i'm not saying it isn't right i'm gonna say i'm gonna look it up okay turn look it up. up yep all right all right chris here's, here's the deal okay and in are you on probation parole parole for what what do you mean for what what are you on parole for does it matter 
Am I being judged right this, now? It kind of does at this time. I'm not judging you. It's the circumstance of this vehicle. You didn't. You well, if you can, who... if you if you know, then you you, you already know. Right. Why do I need to tell you? What I understand, what I need to understand, is how you know who owns this vehicle and why are you in it and why is it I can't get a hold of the owner of the vehicle? Didn't you just talk to him? No, I didn't. You can't get a hold of him. We're done here. I will get it and go. Okay. So. You, you're coming from Lincoln, is that correct? Hastings. Okay, but initially, before to pick yes. up Bob? Yes. So you came from Lincoln to Hastings to pick up Bob? Yes. Okay. Or, yes, Robert? pick up his stuff and him, yes. Okay, so then where are you taking him? Back to Lincoln. You're taking him back to Lincoln. He's so going to help me clean some cars and do okay, some so more. you're going to pick up a vehicle? On, on, on our way to York. On your and way then to back York. to Lincoln. So the vehicle is in York? Yes. Yes. Drove from Lincoln to Hastings. Yes. I didn't want to put the car on it and then drive there and all the way back. You know what I mean? Okay. Waste all the gas. So why, why is Bob going to do that? To help me clean car. To, to help you clean cars? Clean cars and work okay. on cars and stuff. So what, what new stuff in the back is that? His. That's his stuff? Yes. Okay. So is he moving or what is he doing? He's not moving. He's just moving a TV. Moving He's getting a rid TV. of the TV. Okay. Okay. So why, why couldn't you tell me that as we're talking? Do you understand that I like to remain, you know, quiet and private and, and not, you know what I mean, like be interrogated? I haven't done anything wrong to him. Too. Here's the other deal, too, okay? Um, did you see the signs on the interstate? You seem like a pretty observant guy. What do you mean? You seem like an observant individual, is that correct? Signs for what? The signs on the interstate prior to getting off of this exit. Did you see any signs that sparked your interest? No. That were out of the ordinary? There's signs that say drug checkpoint ahead. Okay. Okay, did you see those signs? I didn't. You didn't see those signs. Okay. The, typically when people get off and come to locations like this or on this highway whatsoever when those signs are up, uh, typically that's the reason they get off is because they have something in their vehicle. I don't, about. I don't go down this side of Nebraska a lot, so coming back I don't notice things that are not, you know what I mean, like that I, I don't normally see. I'm telling you just exactly what, what the signs are out there for and in my experience what people have done in, those, in this situation. Okay, so that's, you don't have anything in your vehicle that I should worry about? There's no weapons? No. There's no There's no nothing in, in here. The There's no drugs in There's the nothing in here. There's no methamphetamine? No. There's no cocaine? Do I look like I'm on my meth or coke? I, I just gotta ask these questions. There's nothing right? in there. There's no marijuana? No. There's no uh, methamphetamine, marijuana, cocaine? There's nothing right? in there. There's none, right? Nothing. Okay. All right, I'm, and I'm going to give you your, your paperwork here, and then in a second I'll ask again if I can search the vehicle to make sure what you're telling and me And I'm true. asking you to give me a search warrant, and I'll allow okay. a search. So you're, you're not no. going to want to me to search the vehicle. Okay. Right. This is my private property, okay? Well, you're I am protect of it. It's I am protect It's property. still, I don't you're consent to a search. Control. Okay, all right, I understand you're not consenting. Hang tight here, okay? Okay. <clears throat>
a search clause on your parole, you probably better call your probation, you probably better call your probation officer to make sure you don't. If all this goes away, perfectly great, great, just don't violate your probation. Does that make sense? All right, so make sure you have that, you have your phone, so if you want to call and find out. But to be honest with you, most people who have a search clause are fully aware that they have one. The fact that you act like you never heard of it, you may not. That's up to you. If not, because it's out of relationship, you have your probation officer. Uh, just don't make a mess where there isn't one. I'm not trying to make one. He's searching the vehicle right now. No search warrant. There's a button on the dash. What's that? There's a button on the dash. TV, TV stand, food, some little shit. No, he's just getting rid of a TV. And when then, like I said, we're going to York to pick up the car. Yeah. Dropping the TV off in York? Or no, in Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln. Well, so you could, once you get the car, you're going to Lincoln? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I got you. I didn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't ask you that, did I really? I asked where you're you get that coming from, I didn't get where you were headed to. Wow. Yeah, Hastings and then York. Hastings, stop at York, get a car, Lincoln, back Lincoln home. Destination. Is this one of the cars you're going to fix up or? It's a parts car. Use it. Use it. I need the transmission out of it to fix another Jetta. Yeah. Here we buy cor cars pretty cheap and then sell them affordable to people that need them. T t take the parts that you need off of. Uh, take two to make one and. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like flipping houses, but you're flipping cars. Yeah. Right. Well, I suppose we got the skills to do it. I learned it over the years. Yeah. Self, self, self taught. Self -taught. So now that I have that knowledge I give it away <coughs> I go to charity auto on Saturdays and work work there what's charity auto it's like a church thing 
the prison had it as a, an activity you could go do. So right, even when I get out, I you, still go. You just go and work on cars for people yeah. that are broke? Yeah. Are the, uh, it's like bring your parts here and we'll fix it. Are, your, are the parts that they need to fix them, are they, do they have to buy them? Or do you just supply they, the labor? Or they? We just supply the labor. Oh. This is the vast majority of a lot of bills anyway, so yeah, I get it. Never heard of that before. Doesn't surprise me. You know, I used to build like these. Service. What? I used to build these. The houses? No, these vehicles, emergency vehicles. Oh, yeah. For who? 9 11 custom in Kansas City or in Overland Park. I was going to say, I think that was Overland Park, but I know nobody who does ambulances and he does that. Or people buy some down there, so is that the same thing? No. You did just, just, we did, just police cars. We did police cars. Fire, like the fire trucks that they use, like yeah. these. Yeah. Uh, no SWAT ambulances. vehicles, no ambulances. Is that still done down there, though? The same, same oh, just different department. Uh, it's a private company that does it. Oh. That gets the stock vehicles from the police department, and then they, and then we outfit them with all the lights, sirens, cages, I get radios, you. I get you. radar, all that stuff. Yep, yep. So, so put all this together, make it work right. Yep. I know this much about that. It's got four doors. The gas goes over here in that hole. The key goes in the hole right next to that round thing. Other than that, I don't know crap about cars. Come on. I'm dumb enough. Bucket of dirt. I wonder how that Iowa Cyclone flag does here in the heartland of Nebraska land. In, in the middle of Husker Nation. It's all tore up. I bet they don't dig it down. It looks like they're beat up by the wind, doesn't it? Pretty serious, man. This is pretty serious. This is serious, sir. This guy doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> worried about anything. I didn't even know about that. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Okay. So, remember when, when you said that the, it was BS that the dog was indicating to the other drugs? Yeah. Whether you did or didn't know about that, the dog has no... <coughs> he doesn't. Well, we have food, care. so... What's that? I said we had food in there, I so... But this is not... Now you understand why the dog did what he did? I don't know anything about it. Uh, you said everything in there is your property. That's all right. You don't want me to search, so it's underneath your driver's seat. So this leads me to believe it's yours. Okay.
asked you about the cyclone flag. Who's your sergeant? My sergeant? His name is Sergeant Dane Hicks. Dane Hicks? Dane Hicks out of Lincoln. State Trooper's office? Mm -hmm. Do you guys have cards? Business cards? I do not. That I do not. Citation for possession of marijuana, less than one ounce, first offense, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Okay, it's a, it's a must appear citation. However, uh, you do have the option in Hamilton County to waive that. There's a number of instructions right here. It says if you wish to enter a guilty plea, you can read and understand English. I have to ask because some people don't. Yes? Yeah. Uh, if you wish to enter a guilty plea and pay the fine and court costs without appearing in court, please con contact the court at this number for instructions. Is that clear? Harass and collect. Told sure. you. Signature on the X, it's not a mission guilt, just a promise to take care of the citation, one of those two ways I talked about. What's, what's this here? UCC 1-308, under duress. Okay. It's an actual statute. Okay. That's how you sign your name? your copy of the citation. Hamilton County Court, like I said, uh, if this is a current address for you, that court date is set for 5-1-18. It may not be the exact court date. You'll probably get something in the mail uh, advising such. And I gave you the other option if you wanted to plead guilty and pay the fine, uh, contact that number. Any questions? Is there an honor before date I need to appear? Yeah, that's the court date is your honor before date. Honor before. Thank you. Any questions? Nope. All right, you got your directions of where you're going? I will. Okay. Get right, parked there. Thanks. Bye.